Hey, everybody. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying at home, staying in. But since we're in on our quarantine, I just wanted to come and give a little presentation or something to hopefully they'll give you some hope and give you some encouragement and to inspire you some inspiration right now going through all this that we're going through. But I just thank God that he has not given us the spirit of fear, everybody, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And my prayer is that God keep our minds as we're all sitting and enclosed, but also we just, whatever that it is that we need to work on right now, we just, just work on it and asking the Lord to help us work on it. So we hope these songs that we're about to sing encourage you and encourage your hearts while you're sitting there in your living room or wherever you are in your home. So, but the Lord in his word, he says for us, the way we should pray is our father. And I want to start this out tonight with the Lord's prayer. Hope it blesses you guys. Our Father, we chant in heaven, hallowed be. With social distancing, as you see, the guys have on masks. We're singing, so we can't have masks on, so you can get a good sound. So y'all be praying for us. We are being safe here. So let's just go to church. Let's have a good time in your living room, in your theater room, or your bedroom. All right, let's do it, guys. He told me that I was chosen, predestined me for greatness. He gave me victory, though every team may not have. Those seasons change, it will be
Keep trusting him. Here he is. He's gonna make. 
What you gonna do? What you gonna do now? Which I gonna do? Put a smile on your face. What you gonna do when you need a little more grace? We all need a little more grace. Come on, let's just be friendly to everybody when you go out, even with your mask on. Hey, oh, hey, oh, my, 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 my. I want you to hey. I'm singing like y'all sitting and standing right in front of me because God is sitting on the front row and we want to give him glory and give him praise for who he is. But we just want to thank him for just being so good, a good God. Even in the midst of all of this trouble that we're going through, we're going through troubled times right now. But it's nothing too hard for our God. Is that right? Yeah. Nothing too hard for our God. And, and, and I'm saying that to say he's going to be there with us through it all. Hallelujah! Get your praise on. Life thrown many punches, trying hard to knock me out. It hurts, but I'm trying. Can't let my faith waver me now. Change don't always feel good for me. As long as I keep standing, he'll give us the victory. Because you promised in your word that you will never leave me. You will never leave me nor forsake me, Lord. Through it all, you're with me. Through every tear, through every feel, oh, 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 through it all, you're with me. Yeah. Every mountain high, every valley, oh, oh.
midst of this storm, he's standing right there with you. He's walking along beside you. Don't give up, don't give in. He'll be right there. You said in your words, because I abide in you, and your word abide in me. I can ask anything through you. Through you. Won't you be right? right there. He is right there with you. Hallelujah. I just wanted to do something special for you guys today. One of my singers, Lakia, is going to come and sing her song. She has a single out. It's called What a Friend. Come on, Kia. I've been Kia Stokes. I've been knowing this baby since she was eight years old. I feel like an old lady now. And she's been singing we used to sing together at Midnight Musicals when this girl was little. And now she's all grown with a family and kids. But Kia, let the Lord use you. Thank you. I'm going to sing background. Oh, my God. Tell me the man singing background. <laughs> what a friend. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not care. Everything to God. Can we turn it up real quick? Turn it up. Yeah. Mic check one, two, one, two. <laughs> Say, I. <laughs> Mic check one, two, one, two. <laughs> Who you gonna call when you don't know what to do? <laughs> Who you gonna call when your friends turn their back on you? <laughs> Who you gonna call in the first when the rent is due? <laughs> and who you gonna call when you feel like your life is through? Well, I have a friend I can recommend, and what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah. He'll never leave, you will be there till the end, and on its word you can depend. Oh, oh. Familiar verse. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. And what a privilege it is to carry 
What a friend, Lakia Stokes. All platforms. All platforms. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Tia. All platforms. Y'all see we social distancing. Social distancing. You didn't. You just hugged her. I hugged her. I'm sorry, but Jesus, he's my friend. What a friend. What a friend. I was doing the bottom. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right. Y'all ready? We're going to go. We're going to do some old stuff and some new stuff. Y'all ready? We never could imagine going through what we're going through right now, y'all. None of us. Our world is just not America. It's the world. And we believe in God to cover and heal our land, the world. This place, let's do it. Could be this way. Mm. I never knew the sun could shine all day. Oh my. I never thought I'd live beyond my past until I found Jesus. I never thought I'd be 
this place oh my oh i'm glad i'm living my life in this place mm -hmm. i'm never never knew my heart, my heart could feel, could feel again. again have you been so hurt so hurt never knew the pain Until I found Until you, I Jesus, I never thought I'd be right here.
face head, oh God. Lord, we've never been. Lord, we've never been. We've never been in this place. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're trusting and dependent on him to see us through this. Hallelujah. Change me, oh God. Make me more like you. Change me, oh God. Wash me. worship you Wash me through and through. Hallelujah. Lord, just create. Only you can do it. Create in me a clean.
just want to give y'all a little church since we've been at home. Oh, Jesus. I know he's all right. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's so good. We're trying to make this look good for y'all and perfect, but sometimes it just don't happen like that. But I tell you, God is a good God. God is a good God. Oh, I dare you to just throw your head back at home and say, raise your hands up and say, God is a good God. He had forsaken you. He had forgot about you. Whatever your situation is, God can. He can turn it all around. Gee. Oh, yes, he can. My God, I'm trying to move on. Jesus. You don't know nothing to say. You can just say, Jesus. You ain't even got to say it like that. You can just say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm trying to come down a little bit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. He is the potter. He has all of us in his hands. Whatever your situation is, he can fix it. Hallelujah. He can turn it around. I know a lot of people out of work right now and trying to figure out where your next meal is coming from and how you're going to pay your bills. They're talking about the stimulus. But we serve a mighty God that can fulfill and meet every need that you're having. We're talking about, if you've seen those masks earlier, we're talking about faith over fear. Because we know that he didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. I just thank him for loving us. It's happening for a reason. And whatever it is right now that you're in this time and place that he's done pulled us away from our busy schedules, and we're all shut down at home, just ask the Lord whatever it is that you need to work on, whatever it is he needs to work on you. That's what my prayer has been, Lord, fix me. Change me, Lord. Whatever it is that is in me that's not like you, fix it. Fix it, God. I give it to you. I can't do it by myself. I've tried everything. It's not working. But he is the potter. Just listen to the words of this song. What you're going through is not the end of you, it's the beginning now. You are in his hands, be still and trust his plan, he'll make a way somehow. But while you're going through, let Jesus work on you. There's nothing else to do, just be still and know he is God alone. He came to make you strong, though it hurts for a moment. Let him work on you. I know some of us are hurting real bad right now. Mm -hmm. All you have endured is working for your good joy is on the way. Every test and trial. Last only for a while, he's building up your faith. So while you're going through, let Jesus work on you. There's nothing else to do. Just be still and know he is God alone. He came to make you strong. Though it hurts for a moment, let him work on you. Let him work. 
While you're going through, let him work, let him work on you. So while you go, all of us are going through something right now. While you're going through, let him work, ah, let him do a work in you. So while you go I'm the clay, I need you to fix it, Jesus, all around the world, fix this sheep. Lord, I need you to fix me, fix me. Only you can fix me. 
put on my heart to ask Lady B to just give us an encouraging word for those who out there are dealing with some different things. Whatever God put on my heart. We trust that your hearts are being blessed by this amazing vessel. It is our hope and desire to fill your lives on today with hope and encouragement. We know that we are living in the very last days and things are so uncertain. But one thing we know for sure is that God has made us several promises throughout his word. He said, Lo, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you but I'll be with you to the ends of the world. He said, I won't put more on you than you can bear. He said, all things are working together for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. But there's a responsibility that we have in order to bring this crisis, this pandemic to an end. And the consequences and the promises and the instructions that he has given to the believer, we find that in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, Verse 13 and 14. And the Lord tells Solomon, if I shut up the heavens and there be no rain, if I allow locusts to devour the land, mm -hmm. he said, if I send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, yes. seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. Yes. So the responsibility that we have as believers, the first thing we have to do is humble ourselves. We can no longer think that we can do life apart from God. We have to humble ourselves. We have to pray. We have to be in constant communication with the Father. And then he says we have to seek his face. In order to seek his face, that means you have to spend time in his presence. And then the, fa the final thing that he said was you have to turn from your wicked ways. In order to turn from your wicked ways, you have to repent. Repent is not just a word, but it's what you do. It's a change of heart, a change of mind that leads you into a change of direction. We've been asking God to heal the land, to come and see about his people. But the only way he is going to heal his land is if his people who are called by his name would humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways and seek his face. Then will he hear from heaven. That's the promise that he made to the believer. Then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive your sin, and I will heal the land. We know that God is a great healer. We know that God is a strong deliverer. And we know that there is nothing too hard for God. This is not impossible for him to do. He is not caught off guard. He is not surprised by the current state of our world. He is waiting on his people who are called by his name to humble ourselves. And so in these final hours, we want to pray, God, humble us in the name of Jesus as you're working on us, as you have us in this time of consecration, this time of isolation, this time of staying in place. We pray, God, that you would do a great work on us, work on our hearts, work on our mind, work on our attitude, work on our behavior. Because when we come out of this time of quarantine, we don't want to go back in the way that we came out. So our prayer and our desire is, Lord. Lord, work on us. Yes. Fix us, God. Fix our hearts. Fix our mind. Fix our will. Fix our desire. Change our appetite. We want more of you, Jesus. More of your presence. More of your power. More of your love. More of your peace. More of your presence. And Father, we pray that if there is anyone who does not know you in the pardon of their sin, that you would help them to know who you are in these last and evil days. So we know, God, that you're a strong deliverer and not many days from now you're going to answer, you're going to make a way, you're going to provide and come see about your people. But we have to remember that we have a responsibility. We have to humble ourselves. We have to pray. We have to seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. Then will he hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and he promised that he would heal our land. Hope you were encouraged. We're going to keep singing. Hallelujah. 
God provides. Why do I worry about my life when he comes to my rescue a thousand times? Every other voice, it feels a lie. God provides, God provides in ways I can't explain and can't deny. The little that I have, He multiplies. Just when I feel He won't show up on time, God provides. He'll come through when the clouds of doubt rain down on you and test everything you thought you knew. Now you finally see what God can do for you. So tonight, close your eyes, there's no more need. Watch God provide. Oh, he will. Before. Could only imagine to be surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in of you be still? Will I stand in your presence to my knees?
options are few. I'm trying to pray, but where are you? I'm all churched out, hurt and abused. I can't face what's left to do. Truth is, I'm weak. No strength to fight, no tears to cry, even if I try. But still my soul refuses to die. Mm -hmm. One touch will change my life. Take to the king I don't have much to bring my heart's torn in peace it's my offering lay me at the throne leave me there alone to gaze upon your glow and sing to you Take me to the king. Truth is, it's time to stop playing these games. We need a word for the people's pain. So, Lord, speak right now. Let it fall like rain.
this evening. God bless you.